Hello everybody, it is me, Zumat, and I am back with another episode of Astroneer. And I am back from another, um, I guess a trip to my original base. Um, I've been carrying the soil centrifuge to my base so that we can have it. So I also grabbed some more resources from my original base. You know, I actually, I forgot to make a plan for what I was going to do this episode, because normally I have like a note card with me on my desk when I record these with an outline of what I want to do. Ooh, I, I almost nailed that on the first try. It was really close. Boom, got it. All right, so we just need to plug this in. And so, yeah, we're not even like a minute in the episode and we already have the centrifuge. Whoa, that's really cool. This is why I like to build my base at the poles because you get these epic views like this. It's so cool up here. I still haven't gotten used to how cool it is up here. You know, I'm just going to sit here and watch this go by. That is really cool. Kind of hope it just sticks around for a while. But you know what? Um, I don't have any time to waste. I need to figure out what I need to do this episode. Okay, everybody. So I now have an idea of what I want to do this episode. It actually, yeah, the tower just started receiving power there. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do. So first, I want to extend the tower, make it a bit taller, because I did grab another small solar panel, and I figured I could build it a lot better by like standing on top of it. Whoa! I just noticed there's a research right up there in that tree. I never noticed that. Oh, and we need to get a research chamber, and I want to discover a cave and begin caving. That is something that I want to accomplish this episode, so first we're going to need to deconstruct this tower. So we're going to unplug everything here, and I really want to do this d during the sunlight so that we can kind of like, um, I don't know, like see how long it goes when the sun sets. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I already said this, but I grabbed some more rare exotic resources from my original base, but we're gonna grab this. We're just gonna chuck it down there for now. And the reason I wanna go caving in this episode is so that I can get my hands on some copper, which is what I need in order to make extenders for my base, so that I can start like making this tower really tall or extend um, long extenders to the horizon. So we just need to try to get this camera as close to straight up as possible. And oh, wait, okay, there we go. So I believe if we just do this, yeah, we just go up with it, do we? No, it appears to not want to move. It, something over here is making a noise. I'm not sure what it is though. So, ooh, I actually got an idea here. If we, nope, that didn't work. Figured, no, we'll have to, I guess, kind of, oh, that is weird. Normally, whenever you do that, you just kind of move up with it, but now it won't close in around the astroneer. Oh, I know why it does that. There was a bug. I remember there was a bug that's really old where the astroneer would um, like would be able to phase through walls if you did that and you could like go down in caves. It was like the cheatiest thing ever. System error must have done that to get rid of it. Okay, that's smart. That makes sense. All right, so we're going to build this really, really high. So we're going to, I guess, make a part that can get kind of straight up. And now we build it up there. Something is making a noise. I'm not sure what it is though, but it is driving me nuts. So let's see here. Can we make it just a tiny bit taller? Yes, we can. And that is the tallest it's gonna get for now, I think. Okay, something is making a noise and I don't know what it is, but it's it's hurting my ears and whoa okay we dropped quite a bit i think it's the smelter that's doing it so we're gonna move the smelter away from the tower well we're actually gonna need it near the tower if we actually um are going to be able to hook anything up to it so maybe it just needed to be like kind of like picked up and put back down again okay so now that that tower is done with our solar panels on it we are going to need to get ourselves a research chamber. So before I go caving, I'm going to start fabricating a research chamber. There we go. 
And now I need to make myself some tethers. So if we look here, I have some compound. Don't believe I have, like, a space where I'd store it all, right? No, I don't. This is really weird. The power's just on and off all the time. It's a very strange thing. I've never seen it before. Well, it looks like all of my resources are here. So, I guess we'll have to go find some more compound. Alright, so I just finished printing some tethers. Um... But one thing I just realized, I can't believe I actually haven't done this the entire time I've been playing Astroneer on YouTube. I've never made a small generator. I... How... I don't even know. Also, one strange thing I noticed. My backpack is recharging, even though there's no power there. Oh, wait! Okay, my tethers are still connected to my original base. So that's why. That's actually pretty nice, because that means my backpack won't be running out of power. But I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner to grab a generator. So that will be useful. So now I guess we can collect a few plants and get some organic. Whoa, that's we. Oh, I did an animation. Wait, what? That looks... That's... Wait, that is really weird. Uh, okay, System Era, um... System Era has something to fix. Wow, that must be some really lightweight tool. It's like phasing through the Astroneer. My goodness gracious. That, that was the strangest thing I've ever seen. I just accidentally hit a key on my keyboard. So, our research chamber is nearing completion. But to speed it up... I'm just going to grab my organic, and now we have really fast power. And you know what? I just got an idea. Oh my gosh, we could just grab, um, like, a bunch of organic from this. We can just make a lot of organic. Alright, now we have our research chamber ready to go. So we're just gonna pop that there, unpack our research chamber, and now we are in business. So, while I go caving, I'm going to research this. And there we go. It's not very fast, but that is definitely better than nothing. So that's going to keep going for a while. We still do have power, but now I'm going to go off and see if I can find a cave. Okay, so right on the other side of this mountain, I was going along the border of this mountain to see if I could find anything, because mountains tend to be pretty promising with their caves. I found a pretty good-looking cave over here. I haven't really been able to go in it, but it does appear to not just be like a dead end in the side of the mountain. So let's take a look at this. Uh-oh. There we- oh no, the tether. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're going to go in this cave. It does look like it goes pretty deep, so yep, we have green. So this probably runs into- Whoa! Whoa, 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 That was way too close. Oh, and now there's a storm outside. Well, I guess that was pretty good timing, because now we're in the cave. Oh, that was such a close call. Oh, it doesn't look like the cave was too deep, though, so... I probably would have been able to dig myself out, but still, that was scary. Glad I have a good reaction time. Okay, so... We're gonna fill that in, and... I guess, make this kind of a ramp in here. Oh, that was scary. That really freaked me out. I thought that was it. You know, I really want to go as long as possible without dying. So, yeah. I'll... Now I'm gonna just, like, obsessively watch the ground. Man, I can hear the wind. That must... That's an intense storm. Ooh, here's one of those really nice minerals. that are like 53 bites. So yeah, let's see if I can go deeper and find anything. Okay, it looks like we have an opening. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing the wind. Oh no! Is it like... Aw, uh, it's rendering the area as exposed to the storm, because it's really big and open, I guess. I think that's how Astroneer's code works. If it's like a big and open area, it'll think you're in the storm, and it'll start like flinging rocks at you. 
You know what? Let's find out. Probably gonna get myself killed, but it's for science. Oh no, it's not. I guess the big caves just get dusty. Anyway, though, here are some really nice research minerals that will definitely be useful. So yeah, um, I'm going to, I guess, explore around this cave a bit and see if I find anything. Okay, so I just now found some malachite, which is what we came here for. So I'm going to quickly mine this up because my oxygen is running low. I've also found a bunch of quartz and graphite, but... Oh, and there's some compound. That'll be useful. But the quartz and graphite, I'm not really down here for. I'll come down and get it if I ever need it in the future. Oh no. There's one more compound. Okay. We need it. Oh no, the tether's farther away than I thought. Okay, we can make it. We can make it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We make it. We're gonna make it. Yep, okay. Uh, that suffocation cannot be good for the astroneer's chest. That cannot be great at all. So let's take a look here. It does take one copper to make a bundle of extenders, and we have two right now, so that's actually pretty good. That should be enough for now to actually make our tower just absolutely obscenely tall. Alright, so we are back at the surface with our, with our little resources. And the storm has just now cleared, which is actually really, really nice. It, like, cleared just as I was coming up to the cave. Well, to the surface. Oh, look, Tundra's still hanging out. That's pretty nice. It's just been kind of chilling out here at the horizon, pretty close to the planet throughout the episode. I think that's pretty cool. So, I guess the planets kind of just stay close to each other for a while. Maybe, like, their orbits just get really close for a while around the sun. I believe System Era named it Sol, right, in the Q&A? They named it Soul. I'm not sure. But, anyway, let's get back to the base so we can make the extenders. Alright, so, it looks like the mineral extractor has done its job while I was gone, which is really handy. So we're going to pop that generator on. And, let's see, we're going to turn it on here. And now we're going to smelt these materials so that we can get copper. And then, while that's working, I am going to head up here and collect these and I'm going to extend the tower even more you know I'm actually going to probably tear down the tower right now does that oh that doesn't work so I'm gonna have to grab that and oh I'm gonna have to go all the way up there probably so we're going to extend this outward a little bit um, let's try extending it a little more, like that. Oh no, I'm really struggling. Okay, so now we can get up here and grab this small solar panel. And now I'm going to deconstruct the tower because this is just messy and it's really hard to climb. So I'm just going to make it like one just like really steep bridge kind of with the flatten tool. Alright, so we're going to start constructing our little tower here. So, let's see here. We're gonna do that. Now we need to pick an angle off of this chunk here. I think it's here. And now, we're just going to walk up and make this massive tower. You know, this could probably be made steeper, but I honestly don't really care right now. So we're just gonna make this go really, really high until... Yeah, the sun is mostly visible at this point, but I feel like this may be the highest we may be able to go right now. So we're just going to see if I can go a little higher. Yeah, the solar panels are starting to catch the sun a bit up here. I'd say this is a pretty good height, and whoa, that is tall. Okay, let's slide down. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's slow down. Okay, we slid off safely. So this is just about to finish up our last copper. So let's begin printing our extenders. And now we just place extenders as we go. And now we can just run these all the way up. And oh, oh no, that's the direction that the current will go, isn't it? Ooh, okay. If that's the case, then we're gonna have to go to the top and then place a solar panel, and then run the cables down, I'm afraid. 
So I guess we will need to head all the way up here and place a solar panel and then run it all the way down. So we're just going to grab that. Then we're going to run this down and it goes all the way down to about there. So we're going to then place another solar panel, which I will then need to rotate. I believe, yeah, that should work. And there we go. Oh, look, it's catching the sun from there. That's actually really handy. They both are. Okay, I need to slide down before I die of oxygen deprivation. Okay, and yeah, I think I may, once I finish this tower, I may need to conclude the episode because I am looking at my timer and I am really pushing the duration of this episode, which I really want to avoid doing. Like, look, these, these panels already have power. Ooh, that's really cool how that looks. So let's see here. This will extend down to about to that line there. So we're gonna place this solar panel right here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we just place it there. Now we're gonna go down a little far- no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, now we're going to grab our wind turbine and place it here. Oh no, that's not where I wanted that. We're going to rotate it like that. And whoa, that cable plug is really glitching. I don't think they're supposed to- oh no, oh no. I'm creating a mess, but now I'm suffocating. So now that I'm done dying of oxygen deprivation, let's take a look at this mess I've created up here. I think it's actually... Okay, it's not glitching out. I'm just being dumb. Uh, is there any way I can... Okay, there we go. I just needed to grab it. So now we... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. I'm creating even... Oh, I'm creating an even bigger mess. Okay, I just need to grab them. I just need to... Okay, we got it. And oh no, I'm dying again. Okay, so we are nearing completion now. This is the easy part, where I just grab cable plugs and oh, I keep on sliding. Oh, that's really annoying and scary. Okay, now we just need to bring this down. And I believe if we plug it in here, yeah, they all reverse. Okay, that's really handy. And now we have power from all the way up there now. So that is a much more reliable power source that will last a lot longer. So, we did accomplish everything that I want to do this episode, which is actually really nice, because I was expecting to go over a bit with the time, which I mean I did, kind of. This episode will be a bit longer than it usual, but I'm afraid I will need to end the episode here. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it, and yeah, I hope I will be making a lot more progress, because I just realized I only have this month to make progress in this world, because then I'm gonna leave in January, and then in February, when I come back to YouTube, the Astroneer 1.0 update's gonna come out and corrupt this world. So I pretty much only have what's left of December to make progress in this world, so... I'm gonna see how far we can get in this world. But, until I release the next episode, I will see you guys later. Bye!